Hey, what's going on? Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to do a review of the Wilkinson uh, WVCSB trim for Stratocaster. So I'm building a Strat, and if you check out the, uh, the links for the cards for this video, I'll put it up on the top. Check that playlist out. I'm going to be adding to it as I go step by step in building the Strat, if you're interested in that kind of thing. But I want to talk specifically and review this, uh, tr this trim or tremolo which is a misnomer. The Strat actually it has a vibrato and not a tremolo. Tr tremolo is more like a staccato effect, like that, 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 that. Vibrato is moving of a pit, moving the string pitch up or down, or up and down. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Everybody calls it a trim, so if you're looking at things up and researching it, you're gonna have to look for a trim. So I got this uh, off of eBay, but I did get it from an American uh, guitar distributor. I'm not going to tell you the name because uh, I'm actually going to return it, uh, but but I, I want to give you an overview of it and the good things and the bad things. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'll just I'll explain. So uh, it came in this box, no real packaging. It was well well packaged. There was plenty of like padding and it was it was well protected, and it came with uh, four springs. It came with the screws, obviously for mounting it came with a uh, Allen key for the intonation screws, I guess, and came with the trim claw, which goes in the back of the Stratocaster. If you're watching this video, you probably know how these things work. But, so it came with all that stuff, came with the arm. Now, the arm of this bridge is, or I'm gonna call it maybe a bridge and tremolo uh, interchangeably, but uh, if you know about the Wilkinson uh, system, it is a uh, it, usually a pop-in arm, at least this series is. Uh, I actually don't know if any of the Wilkinson bridges are a screw-in. So that's kind of one of the features that they're known for, is the pop-in trim arm. The bridge itself, so the, the, uh, the model is again WVCSB, and what I think that stands for is Wilkinson Vintage Chrome Solid Block. And so solid block is this piece here. I'll, I'll try to, to make this simple. And if you don't know a lot about this stuff, it'll help you because um, looking into it, I really, I knew less than I thought. So I'm trying to build a strat. I'm trying to make like an American equivalent. So I'm trying to buy nice parts. So the bridge, this block is uh, what the strings uh, actually attach to and are held by. And everyone says that um, a heavier block, more mass, a uh, denser block is better for sustain and tone. Now I can see how that would that would be. Um, so some of the uh, cheaper guitars, some of the cheaper fenders have like a pot metal block which is just a conglomerate of cheap metal and uh, it's not very really dense and it does the job but it doesn't provide the best tone. So this is a solid steel block and it really is heavy. You know it feels it feels very uh, substantial which is good. Um, the other thing I like about this bridge, let me get this closer to you Let's move along here up to the camera. Maybe the light there. So this has the uh, vintage type bent saddles, is what these are called. And I really like the fact that these are stamped, I guess is the term. They actually have uh, Wilkinson stamped on each saddle. And Fender did that back in the day. And uh, of course they still do that. But I, I like that vintage look about it. It does have the Wilkinson here on the edge of the, the, the bridge plate, which Fender does not have. But I really like the vintage look of this, and I like the fact that even if even from close up, you really have to look to, to know what it says, and it says Wilkinson. But I really like the, the stamped wording in the bridge and the, and the saddles. I just think that it looks vintage correct. So that's a good thing. Now the other thing about this is this plastic piece in here. It actually holds the trim arm in place. Now the some of the bad features of the normal uh, Fender. Uh, design is that it screws into place and then if you you know once you get to where you want it it may not be tight it may or not, may or may not be threaded you know down solid so it's gonna wiggle it can flop around it doesn't stay in one place people get around that by putting like Teflon tape or PTFE plumber's tape around the threads and they stick it in there and it works but you have to like reapply it sometimes and you have to maybe carry it around plumber's tape with you in your case the other thing is uh, most of the fender trims come with a spring and you're supposed to stick it down sometimes a spring in a little ball You're supposed to stick it down in the hole and then it provides a, a back pressure for the, the, the trim arm 
so that it will stay in place. But then you have to keep up with a little bitty tiny spring or you have to buy a bunch and have them on hand. So, so the idea of this is very good. And now the other piece, the other component of this is you don't just stick it in there and it stays where it goes or stays where you want it. It has this little bitty set screw here, right? So you put the arm in there and then you tighten this up and then it, it provides you with uh, the right uh, angle for your, your trim arm. You can have it wherever you want, right? Now there was no instructions in the box that came with this. So I put the arm in and I'm, I'm messing with it. I've got the little set screw and I'm tightening it up, which I, uh, well, I'll talk about it, but, so I'm, I'm tightening it up, placing the arm, it's fairly tight, I wanna get it a little better, and all of a sudden I hear this kinda pop, and the screw comes out. So, either the, the block itself, I think I, actually the block itself, versus the little screw, the, the thread stripped, or they, or they broke off. So, if it had been the screw, it had been very easy to replace, and pretty inexpensive, but being that's, that it's the entire block, that's not the case. I did find, what well, I found out the hard way, just by looking around, Wilkinson does not really have a website. I guess uh, Trev, Trevor Wilkinson, you know, did the design of these, but it's now licensed out to manufacturers in Japan, Asia, wherever. I don't know exactly where they make them, but um, so I'm not saying it's bad quality material, it's, it seems to be very good quality material. You can't find parts, so if I wanted to replace the block, you know, there are plenty of replacement blocks out there for, like, uh, Guitar Fetish, GFS has blocks you can buy, um, Cluson or Cluson, Goto, uh, they all have blocks, but they're not necessarily compatible with this uh, bridge plate and bridge design. And that's another thing that I want to talk about, is the spacing. So the spacing of the mounting screws, and this was, this was what I was looking for for my project, the spacing is 2 and 7 30 seconds. Okay, I'm cheating here. Uh, I've got the information in front of me so I don't misconstrue it. So the mounting spacing of pretty much every American Strat, the vintage or the American like standards and stuff, 2 and 7 30 seconds. And that's typical for um, pretty much all Fender American Strats. Okay, whether they be vintage or more modern. Um, some of the other ones like uh, Highway 1 and the Deluxe, don't quote me on that. If you go to uh, toneshapers.com, they got a really cool chart that um, basically gives you the string spacing, which is where the strings go over the saddles, and that's your string spacing between each string, and then the, the screw spacing, which is different. Sometimes it's the same, uh, the same value, but, but sometimes they're different. So with, with this one, the mounting spacing is 2 and 7 30 seconds, but the string spacing is in between the vintage string spacing and the, and the more modern string spacing. So the vintage string spacing is 2 and 7 30 seconds. The more modern string, so that's a wide string spacing. The more modern string spacing is 2 and 1 16th, which is more narrow. So one of the reasons I liked this trim, or I was attracted to it, was that the string spacing is in between the older, more wide string spacing and the more modern and more narrow string spacing. So I couldn't really decide, and I don't have that much experience with the difference in the two, so I didn't really know which one I preferred. Um, the strat I'm building has a nut that is one, uh, 1.65 inches wide. Which is a little bit a little bit wider than the vintage, which is 1.625 or 1.58. The modern nut on, on on like American Standard or American Professional Strats is one and eleven sixteenths, and then there's also one and three quarters, which is pretty rare. I think that's pretty wide. Okay, so again, I'm gonna put the 1.65 on the strat that I'm building. And so I couldn't decide between the wide or the narrow string spacing, so that's one of the reasons I went with this Tremola from Wilkinson. So those are the good things. Um, the build quality is, is well is well done. The finish, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the, the finish on this, there's some rust spots, and it's not necessarily, I don't know if there's a coating on it. It looks like it's kind of bare, but it's maybe oxidized a little bit or aged or... I don't know, um, maybe that's the natural color of the steel, but um, but it does have some some spots where like 
it's it's starting to galvanize or something or corrode or pit but it is heavy it is substantial the good things about this one um, if you if you're looking for a vintage style it is it is fairly vintage correct especially with the mounting spacing and uh, the string spacing is unique which is one of the things I liked about it but for me the deal breaker was the uh, the pop-in arm with the adjustment screw now I thought about and I'm gonna send this back. Um, the uh, the seller on eBay is gonna take it back because it was defective. And I was just thinking about buying another one. That the price on these is um, typically around forty dollars. The seller on eBay that I bought this from uh, had it listed for thirty nine ninety nine, and they had a uh, you know, or best offer. So I offered like thirty just to see, and they met me at thirty five. So it's a great deal. But in the end, and I fought this back and forth, I decided not to get another one. Because I just don't want to deal with that. I don't want to have the risk of popping out because there's no parts. You can't, you'd have to buy a whole new uh, assembly, a whole new trim system versus buying another block. I have found the replacement uh, grub screws or the set screws, but if, you're, if your block is stripped, then it, does, it doesn't do you no good. What else? Oh, and, um, and I just, I didn't feel good relying on this plastic piece. You know, this thing is, is uh, all metal, except you've got this one part that's plastic. And I ha have heard of people where they, they tighten the screw too tight and it's gone through the plastic. And uh, so that renders the that renders it unuseful in that it doesn't, it's not able to grab onto the arm uh, properly. And I will say that I messed around a little bit with just putting some like uh, painter's tape on this and, or masking tape. And then I tried... Um, I think that's all I tried. I tried some clear tape too and, and tried to shove it down in there and it does it does work and it will kind of stay put where you want it that way but the tape um, it starts to slide and starts to bunch up and you risk it like getting stuck down in there so when it came down to it what I did is I ordered a uh, 62 reissue trim off of Amazon and there you go for about $80 on there new which um, I think uh, let me just check some current prices for you yeah so it looks like um, they usually go for about $105 anywhere from $100 to $105 I like Musicians Friends, Sam Ash Guitar Center so uh, if you get on Amazon at least current price it's a really good deal about $20, $25 off I got I got one of those and uh, the, the string spacing is the wider two and seven thirty seconds uh, to match the mounting spacing, but that's just something I'm going to deal with and I don't think it's really going to be an issue um, I'm sort of basing my strat off of John Mayer's black strat um, And I'm, I'm going to relic mine, but it's not going to be as extreme as John's and it's not going to be a clone of it It's just going to be sort of in the vein of that guitar But if it's if John Mayer prefers it and likes it, then it's probably good And if he can make the music that he does on it, then it's good enough for me so I figure I'm going to try to copy the specs of the guitar and um, as close as I can. And so I actually found out from you know the specs that, that his guitar has the 1.65 inch wide nut and the, the vintage wider spacing on the string spacing at the bridge. Now the 62 reissue trim does come with the, um, it comes with the string tree which is cool. And it comes with all the, the mounting hardware, the springs, I think it comes with five springs which John Mayer, I think, has all five springs um, on the back, in the back of the, the trim claw. Um, and it comes with the Allen key or the Allen wrench for adjusting and all that good stuff. And hopefully it comes in a nice um, uh, vintage or a Fender American packaging as well. Oh, I forgot to mention the exact string spacing of the Wilkinson Bridge. And the string spacing is 2.12598. So that is between... Um, 2.21875, which is 2 and 7 30 seconds, and 2.0625, which is 2 and 1 16th. Um, so yeah. And then the other thing is, uh, you may run into, I ran into this, and I didn't realize it and was very confused by it for a while. So the the seven, the 2 and 7 30 seconds also it often gets, gets uh, equated with 2 and 3 16 so there's a very slight difference, only a 30 seconds difference in, in those two numbers. So if you think of um, if you think of three sixteenths, if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by two, you get 
but um, yeah, six 30 seconds. So that's only a 30 second less than seven 30 seconds. So, so Fender, um, they often classify, I think, the, the mounting spacing and or the string spacing as two and three sixteenths, whereas like Callahan or um, Tone Shapers, they would classify it as two and seven thirty seconds. So if you run into that, just know that they're virtually the same. They're 30 second off, but when you divide that out between five spaces, it should not make any kind of a difference. Um, it just it just depends on on who who's writing it down or who's reporting the numbers. So watch out for that and be aware of that. It took me a while to figure that out, um, but but I'm just trying to pass that information along to you. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, you got some good information out of this. I did this because I didn't see any other videos, uh, reviews on this bridge, and it seems to be a pretty popular and, and viable option if you're looking to build a Strat. Uh, but when it came down to it again, I just went for the typical screw-in arm, and uh, we'll see. I'll try to update you on how that goes when I get it and install it. But until then, if you will check out that playlist for the for the Strat build, and hopefully you'll get a lot out of it and maybe learn something and enjoy it. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again. Bye.